Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And in this episode, what? We'll get down from there. What do you want me to build something already? I've let me start the episode first, okay? Man. I mean, the absolute nerve of some people. No respect. No respect for what kind of time it takes to build something or do something at all. Man. It grinds my gears, people. It grinds my gears. And you know what? I'm just gonna take it. We are, in fact, going to build something. We are going to build something really cool and really useful right now. So follow me to the build site. Man. Do you know who the worst defender is? Every single episode, every time I try to record something, this man comes up and tells me I should build something so awesome that I've never seen something that awesome before. And that guy is me. That's right. I'm the worst offender of this. I keep taking water above my head and doing projects of a scale that I simply don't have time for. I wish me would just shut up sometimes and just let me build some simple houses, man. <sighs> Anyways, new things again because we're in 1.21. Exciting and also devastating, maybe? I don't know, but we certainly are going to need some things. Like somewhere to keep villagers, because in all fairness, this place right here is actually really cool. But it doesn't house a lot of villagers, does it? You see, that stupid monstrosity out there that you can see, this thing doesn't work anymore. Nope, 1.21 made that freaking useless. So we're gonna need a new way to get emeralds, and the best way to do that is villager trading. And this place isn't gonna suffice, because we can only have this amount of villagers in here, and they all got books already. So we're gonna need a new place, and that new place is going to be right here. Wow. Isn't that a cool transition? Anyways, this is where I want the new villager trading center to be. We're gonna have to remove a few trees and also maybe do something with the ground. I don't know. I think the best thing for me right now is just to get building. So how about we start building something? Yeah, seems good. Welcome people to the first building segment of the day. And it's always such a nice feeling, clearing out some trees and starting a new building. And do keep watching, because this building has a little bit of a secret to it, which I will reveal at the end. So, please enjoy as I continue to make this building the beautiful workshop that it deserves to be. Now, I'm not one to tell you how you should feel, but uh, amazement is, is a good feeling to have. Although I can understand if you don't have it right now. I mean, it's just a husk of what it's supposed to be. I mean, there's no details. It's just a roof and some walls and pretty ugly textures. I mean, this doesn't look like much, does it? Nah. But still, it will be. It will be really, really amazing. So, we're just about getting to the really good part. We're just about to start doing the details and an interior. What? Interior? No way. Yes way. We're building an interior to this building. In the same episode, we're building it. I'm not even doing it off camera. I know what a great YouTuber I am. Yes, 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 you should absolutely subscribe and like the video because I'm such a great YouTuber. Well, now we've got that part over. Let's get on 
with the details. All right, so details. More like integral parts of the building, but I'm calling them details anyways, because they're cool and detailed. I don't know. You see, we have these big, huge openings in this building and some kind of weird outcropping in the roof. What could that be about? Well, these are going to be, what do you call them? Garage doors, hangar doors, something like that. And I want to build them like this. So we put andesite stairs, polished andesite stairs, upside down like this. And I should have started from the top, but it's easy to be smart in hindsight. What do you, what do you call that? What is that? It's easy to be smart once you know your mistakes or something. I don't know. Anyways, first one should be uh, up there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, anyways, once it's done, it should look a little something like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, that is a door. That is one of those garage thingy doors. And, and you know what would be even better? If we had more of them like this. You see, we now have two more garage ports. Garage doors. Excuse the arrows. I got ambushed. Anyways, I decided to leave one of them slightly open like this. I feel like this place looked more lived in that way. Looks like it's got more movement to it somehow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And inside, we now have these beautiful lights and the doors have been slightly opened. Look at that. That's the type of detail I love putting in buildings. Man. This is looking great and all, but I feel like there's some more stuff we could do. Like maybe putting some lights above this thing and above those things, you know? That could look pretty cool, don't you think? I think it will look cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. These are the lights I designed for these doors look very industrial. And we have one on this side as well. Now, next detail is probably the fittings around this window. And maybe, just maybe, a little something on the other side of this wall. So, let's just do that. In three, two, one, let's go. All right. Look at this. We have a billboard. That's what I wanted to make. A billboard right up there. It does make it look even more industrial than it did before. And that's the plan. I even made one over here. So that you know what this place is gonna be about. Once I make the signs. As you can see, they're not gonna be white. I'm gonna have a motif on them. And I guess you can guess it based on what this building is. But we'll get to it. So, I think it's time we move on towards interiors and the final bit of the exterior. And then we'll talk a little bit about the stuff I've done in there. So let's get cracking on an interior and the rest of this exterior. Alright, so right about now is the time to start feeling amazed. Look at this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And before we get into looking at it deeper, let's just talk about what this is. This is my new villager 
trading center. This is where I, from now on, will be doing my villager trading. Because we have kind of outgrown the old villager trading hall we had, and we're working up and modernizing. So, this is the warehouse part. The red part is the warehouse part. And the white part is the workshop part. So this is where the import and export is going on. So in here is mostly where you like deliver stuff and where we send stuff. You know, it's an imaginary world. P go along with it, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's a, it's a little bit cramped in here. It's, a, it's, it's tight of space. It's tight of space. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's tight of space. But, but that's, that's most of the city, you know? It's a tight city. It's a small one. It's a very European city. And I think it's, I think it looks cool. It looks really nice in here. And on the outside of this building, we have this nice billboard with a villager face on it. Very, very nice. Back here, we have a little storage shed. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but it's here and it's very, very empty. Just like my soul. This is another billboard of an illager. Say that 10 times quickly. Illager, illager, illager. You see? You can. You can't. You can't do it. And if you can't do it, send, send a video of you doing it. That'll be cool. Do it in the Discord. <laughs> People will love that. <laughs> this is a little chimney thing. I think lore-wise, okay, lore-wise, this might have started off as a chimney at some point, but once the whole thing kind of expanded out or something, it got converted into some kind of lookout tower thingy. I don't know, it looked cool, so I built it. I'm trying to figure out lore as I go, okay? <laughs> Give me a break! Out here we have another sign. This is the villager sign again, only this time it has more hair or like a hat or something. Kind of looks like Hypno from Hermitcraft. Not intentional, but I can't unsee it. We have some fake windows, absolutely stellar. We love some fake windows up in here. Wow, really cool. This is an entrance to the workshop area. Normally, like workers would probably enter from there. I forgot to build a door on that place. I assume everyone just enters through the workshop doors like that. We can imagine there's a door in there. You might be able to open up a portion of it. I've seen it done before. I've seen stuff, you know, that's how that works, okay? And this part is the reception area. This is where you go in, you find a receptionist and some stuff. We'll go look at that soon. Out here is one of my favorite things. This is a notice board, as you can clearly see, right? Yep, I could at least. I used all these paintings and tried to make them like maybe commercials for stuff. This might be a commercial for a Western movie coming out in a movie theater that doesn't exist yet, but might in the future. Who knows? This city is still growing and I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. I'm trying. I'm making shit up as I go, okay? The, the exterior of this place is kind of cool. I really like it. It's really nice. But inside is where the magic happens. And, and also, there's a little small hoop here. Hello, guy. <laughs> Thought he just looked a little cute here, so I just added him, you know. We like that guy here on the channel, don't we? Yes, we do. This is the interior of the shipping department. There's not much here interior-wise. We've made a little cool checker pattern floor. I really liked it. I think it's cyan, terracotta, and gray concrete, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I got a bad memory. Anyways, you might see some things flying around there that is completely natural. In here, we have the workshop area where you can do some hammering and some grinding and some composting for some reason. Maybe you want to throw away some mistakes, you know? Like most of my content here on, on YouTube. <laughs> well, that landed. This door looked really cool. I like this glass thingy around. Made it look like sometimes in, in workspaces, like in, in shops and stuff, they had this like clear, like plasticky thing hanging down. I, I thought it made it look a little like that. So I, I thought it's cool. I think it's cool. Out here, you can see the receptionist. Hello, could you fix some spare parts for my car, mate? Apparently not, it's a librarian. That's a shame. Let's go and check out the actual reception of this place. Oh, it's nighttime. Nice. It's good for the vibes, you know? Welcome to the reception of place. I don't have a name for it. I'm sorry. I, this is, that's why all of these signs are blank. <laughs> I didn't get that far. 
anyways inside of here we have the reception look at how pretty this is i really like the roof in here i this lighting thing it, it it's it's really cool i i like it here is the receptionist it doesn't have a name either a very nameless place he sells the flame if you want that i do want that i'm missing flame on my bow and i want to buy it but i don't have emeralds so that's gonna have to wait a while man this this update really set me back a bit huh making my cobblestone monstrosity out there not function as a raid farm no more bad move mojang bad move no i, I think it's actually a really good update it was a little bit easy getting enchantments before this is going to make you work for it a bit more i like that but don't know if i like working for it say hi to the receptionist hello guy and of course you can walk back here and come back in to the workshop oh and if you look up here this roofing is kind of the same as in there i really like this roof design so i decided to keep it throughout these two buildings like maybe they're the same building but anyways you, know, you get it and also to add a little bit of movement i have this minecart going on a loop i think lore wise this minecart is delivering stuff throughout this facility like maybe you store stuff in here and it just shoots them up there maybe for more storage or something and by the way there's no upper floor that's just where the minecart goes and look i, I did some redstone look at this Boop. Way and off it goes. That's my own redstone right there. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. You know, I'm calling this villager trading center, but like, what are we trading flame? Is that, is that it? I mean, I mean, the old place had more villagers, so what? Didn't you think we'd notice, Basti, that there, there's no villagers here? There's not even space for villagers in here? I'm just gonna roam around and just gonna grab one and hope it's the right one? Is that it? Is that what you plan? That's a bad plan in that case, you know? That's gonna, that's gonna be annoying. That's gonna be so annoying, actually. I mean, I probably could have them in here. They, they won't be able to walk out, really, because, I mean, bump, bump, they're tall. They're gonna bump their head on this thing. And, I mean, I guess it could work, but no. No, no, no. That is not the plan. In fact, if you follow me right here, I was thinking there's not a lot of space in my city, you know? All of the buildings are really tightly packed and that's for a reason. The, the peninsula I started building on is not very large, as some of you might have noticed. So where do I fit all of these villagers? Well, I could always go up, but... You know, you could also go down. And so I did. Welcome to the Basti Villager Trading Center. This, people, is where I will be keeping my villagers. And yes, this took a long time to build. This is a really cool room. I wanted it to feel really science-y, so I went with the green and white theme. Very sci-fi, very prison-y. Hmm, intentional? Maybe. And also, I made this kind of a, kind of little elevators you can go around. It's really nice, it's a good way to get around. It's going to be super frustrating. I'm gonna hate it after like 10 minutes of using this thing. Also, I need some way to mark out where you're going, otherwise it's like, oh. Well, nope, this wasn't the way. Better try another one. Oh, is this one? Ah, oh, that's the wrong way as well. I need some good way to mark what is up and what is down and what is a receiving end and what is a going end, you know? All that kind of stuff. But I'll figure that out as I use it. You might have also noticed something. There seems to be a lack of villagers in my villager trading center. And uh, I do like a little bit of self-inflicted pain here and there, but man moving all of the villagers in here before i show you it nah nah even i have more respect of my time than that okay i might be my own worst enemy when it comes to time management and planning but man i'm not gonna put all the villagers in there and not have it be content you know building this thing off camera is a bit of a meme did some mining off camera guys whoa look at me so quirky and cool wow but it was pain it was kind of pain Actually, you know, it, it was uh, pain. 
is what what it was i i didn't have any white concrete when i started this uh, i also didn't have any quartz uh, apparently i didn't have any end rods either i didn't have any of this stuff i really thought i did but i didn't uh, and also i didn't have honey <laughs> so i made a honey farm it was a lot of side quests to get to this point uh, of which i filmed none uh, because i'm smart like that great youtuber you can unsubscribe now actually if you want to uh I take back the, the great YouTuber part. We also have a concrete maker somewhere hidden in the world. And so this is my villager trading center. What do you guys think? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Is it big enough? Do, do you think we'll fit all the villagers we need in here? I'm not sure, actually. I, I did some calculations and I, I think we're only gonna be able to fit like, I think somewhere around 230 villagers in here. I don't know, there's a lot of trades to trade for, so it might not be enough. And so this is going to be a little bit of a project, getting my villagers in here, but that's fine. And you know what? I think this project is going to be a really good stream project. And that's right. I want to get back into streaming again once I have a little bit more time. And that's gonna be kind of kind of soonish. Kind of soonish. In a couple of weeks, I should have a little bit more time. And I want to do some live streaming then. I will keep you posted on that in the Discord, which you can join if you want to. It's fine. I'll also put out a community post on my channel where you can see when my live stream will be and put a link to it. Streaming will be on Twitch. And also, you might have noticed, there's a little bit of an elevator here. A redstone one. I followed a tutorial for this. I'll put up on screen who made the tutorial. And it's this guy, which is up on the screen right now. He's the one I watched. He's the one who told me how to do this. Give him a like, I suppose. So if you want to build your own elevator like this, then go check his video out. Link will be in my description down below. And anyways, I think I've showed you this place enough. Let's go back up with the beautiful piston elevator. And so, this is my villager trading center. And I absolutely love it. So far, I think it might be the coolest building in the city. And I really, really, really would like to do more buildings like this moving on into the city. And we are. Because this part of the city is going to be the more industrial side of it. We've made the commercial district. There's post food shop in there. There's a church kind of thing. Church to the ocean goat. And building this dock area is kind of the way to transition into this area where I want to have more industrial buildings and there are more to come. I'm just making stuff up as I go, so uh, I'm gonna have to think about this for a little bit on how I want to do this. And it might include expanding this area a little bit out into the sea over there and also get, get out of here. So, Villager Trading Center is done. Do you know what else is done? This episode, this project took me a little while to complete, so this is going to have to be the end of the episode. I did have some plans though to continue our little project over on this side, namely the mega base. That thing ain't going to build itself. So what I'll do as the music fades in is I'll show you a little bit of a time lapse of some building of this place, and then we end the episode. So I would like to say thank you so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the building of the Villager Trading Center and I hope to see you next time as well. So if you haven't, do subscribe, leave a like, maybe a nice little comment in the comment section down below and you can always join the Discord. It's Basti's Corner of the Interwebs. Link will be in the description down below. And also keep a lookout for the community posts for when I'm about to go live again. And I would also like to wish you a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, bye!